Welcome everybody, my name is Victoria and today I will show you how you as a Web3 developer can easily automate arbitrary smart contract functions on networks such as Ethereum, Polygon, Phantom and most other EVM based compatible blockchains using Gelato Ops. But before we dive into the topic, in case you don't know Gelato, it's Web3's automation protocol that is being used by some of the most widely adopted applications within DeFi, NFT, as well as in gaming as the underlying infrastructure that powers their automated smart contract executions across some of the most popular public blockchains. Now, you can think of Gelato Ops as the dashboard that lets you easily create tasks, which tells Gelato which smart contract functions to automate on your behalf. And all we need to get started is to have a simple smart contract deployed, for example, on Polygon, that has a particular function that we would like to automate. Now, if you don't have a contract, uh, then the easiest way is to go through the official tutorial on Gelato Ops homepage, and you can start it by clicking Start Tutorial. But before you click this, just make sure that you're logged into your Web3 wallet as well as your desired network. In my case, that would be Polygon. And this tutorial enables you to deploy a very special smart contract being an exclusive Gelato NFT you can mint this NFT by clicking the mint button. And as you can see, the NFT has a delicious ice cream stored as the image within its smart contract code. However, it is not a regular NFT. It is special in the sense that the image has a contract that returns that actually uh, change dynamically over time. And this is because this NFT smart contract has a function called lick. And this function enables everyone to lick the NFT, resulting in the ice cream being slowly eaten until only the ice cream cone is left. And as you can see, you have these three ice cream scoops on top of each other. And the goal of the tutorial is to get to the bottom of the cone and finish eating the delicious ice cream. Now, one caveat of this lick function, however, is that it can only be called every five minutes. Otherwise, the transaction will fail due to the sender getting this so-called frame freeze from licking the ice cream too many times without waiting these five minutes in between licks. So now in order to finish this ice cream, you could be logging into MetaMask and execute this function manually every five minutes yourself. However, this does sound very tedious and probably also very time consuming, right? So fortunately, we now have Gelato Ops, which enables you to leverage Gelato to create a task which simply automates the licking of this ice cream every five minutes on your behalf. So to create this task, uh, let's go ahead and click next here. Now, like with all transactions, of course, it costs a little bit of money to execute them. And this means that in order to pay for these automated licks, you will have to deposit some amount of ETH or MATIC if you're on Polygon in order to actually pay for these transactions, right? So in this case, let me just go ahead and deposit one Matic into Gelato. And this is similar to topping up a prepaid SIM card or like filling up your gas tank at the petrol station. Now, wait until the transaction gets mined and then you have a certain amount of credit in Gelato that you can use to pay for these transactions. Now click next and then create task. All right, the first objective here is to create a unique name for our task. Uh, let's go ahead and call this one Lick Victoria's Ice Cream NFT. Click enter and you will be prompt with the input field that asks you to input the address of this NFT smart contract. In this tutorial, it's actually displayed right over here. Just input it here and in the background, the API will automatically fetch all of the available functions on the smart contract via either scan in case the contract is verified. And if it's not verified, you can input the contract ABI manually yourself. What you can do now is select from a variety of functions that you want to execute every so often. And of course, you want to select the lick function right here. In this case, you want to use the field of predefined inputs rather than dynamic inputs. And this is because we already know that the ID of our NFT, these inputs could also be dynamically generated by another smart contract, but uh, we won't have to worry about that right now. Now, after we select what smart contract we want to execute and what kind of data we want to execute it with, we need to define when we want to start executing it as well as the interval uh, that we want to repeatedly trigger the next execution with. 
And in this case, we want to call this particular contract uh, function every five minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and select five. And then, well, we wanna start licking it immediately starting from right now. So we'll leave this checkbox selected. What we could potentially also do is select a time in the future, let's say, for example, 1 p.m. or 2 p.m. But for now, let's just go ahead with this. Now, at the end, you can select uh, how you wanna pay for it. In this case, we want to just use our gelato balance that we previously topped up. Uh, we have a Matic right here, which is sufficient to execute the transaction multiple times. So now we're all set. We just have to click Create Task and have the tutorial be completed. Let's just wait for the usual MetaMask process to be completed. Click Confirm. And now the transaction is being mined and the task will be created. And now once the task is created, it will be broadcasted to all of the bots that comprise the Gelato network. Um, they will be picking up on the conditions as well as the smart contract that they need to execute. And then they will execute it on your behalf every five minutes. And after the transaction has been mined, we redirect it to the specific task page of this task and we will get displayed all of the necessary information that make up our task. Now what you can see here is an overview of how many times our task has already been executed. In this case, zero times right now, but this should soon show one. We get the address here of the smart contract that is being called, the inputs to the lick function, in this case, the token ID, the interval, and the time when it will execute next. And then we have a small overview about the execution history, which shows how often this task has been executed, as well as a list of all the past transactions that have happened. And look, it seems like we already saw the first execution of that task being executed by one of the gelato bots. And if you now scroll up to the ice cream image, you can see that the counter on the image increased to one and the first ice cream scoop disappeared, meaning that we successfully licked the ice cream once. And that's it. That basically wraps it up and you can now go ahead and start automating just about anything you like. Thanks for joining me.